Hello. I've been asked to talk about something about relationships and specifically maybe our first one and how they might really hurt and affect us and how we get over that in time. And I was asked to share my story, so I will. A little bit of quotes from someone who sent me a message. Um, I can't stop thinking about him. The only person I truly love. I don't know when this pain is going to end. Tell me what I should do to get over all this. How long does it take to forget your first love? Okay, um, only way I can really answer this is just sharing my experience, though, but I don't want to give real names. I'm going to say that my nickname for my first love was Bill, not his real name, but Bill was a really messed up gay individual. I was 18, he was 21, and our time together was five months, but it was a very, very intense love for me, and at the time it was like the longest thing that I had known. I, he was a Jehovah's Witness, and they are very, very by the book, and um, it seemed to me as an outsider that they want all your close friends to be within the church and that way they can disfellowship you and you won't be able to talk to them anymore any of them um, and that's something that was a fear for him a fear for his family and while we were dating he was lying about where he was when he was hanging out with me and he did that as long as he could to make sure that we could spend the time together that we wanted to spend and we would spend as much time as we could together. It was really important for us to spend time with each other. And, I mean, he was a mess, though. He would sometimes just, like, cry, and I would hold him for a while. And he, it was so hard for him to figure out what he wanted because he wanted to be with a man, but it contradicted his religious beliefs too much. And... I had a swimming class with him, and I was supposed to hang out with him and my friend Joel one day, and he was, like, talking to this guy in the swim class, and he wasn't coming to hang out with us, and um, I didn't know what was going on. I left him kind of a rude voicemail just saying, like, okay, when you finally want to show up, just let us know. And <laughs> he comes up, like, way late, and hangs out with me and Joel, and anyway, um, he had gone down on this guy, Gennaro, from swim class, and he felt really, really guilty about it. I mean, we weren't necessarily closed, you know, as a relationship, but he felt guilty for doing it, and he felt so guilty that he drank two Jack Daniels and, like, carved his arms open and was hospitalized. And this wasn't, like, a first-time thing for him either, but first time while I knew him. And, I mean, it felt, like, right getting close to the point where maybe we could have broken up around them. But, you know, then I felt bad for him, and I was visiting him every day, and... And there was one point where he was in the waiting room with me, and he he told me something that was really romantic. I, I can't remember exactly how he put it, but just basically that I was the closest person that he'd ever had in his life. And and I uh, I kissed him <laughs> in a waiting room, and people passing through. Uh, I don't know. I was kind of overwhelmed with my little bit of passion, my enormous passion I felt in the moment. Um, but then his mom walked in, and she's being crazy, and he gets his brother on the phone, and he's yelling, and, and uh, he broke up with me. And he withdrew from the swim class we had together, and 
I was just so desolate. Like, it was like my, my clock had just stopped and my life just was frozen. You know, I, I kept crying like over and over thinking about him. It was like I had this amazing, amazing thing in my life. I loved him so much and he meant everything to me. And, and then suddenly there was nothing and I couldn't hear from him. I couldn't talk to him and we weren't in the same class together anymore. It was like he never existed, you know, and he was, he was so much a part of my life while he was. Even my family just adored him, but then there was nothing, and it was like, it was so devastating, how am I ever going to get past this? And what I realized later, only from reading it from a psych book, is that, psychology book, I, we had a lot of sex, and that caused a big emotional connection that I'm not sure would have been there as much, you know, put that much personal feelings into someone that ultimately is just going to leave you behind because suddenly his family feels like, you know, telling him he needs to leave me so that he doesn't get disfellowshipped and, you know, I just hoped that it could keep going. I never felt like I could love someone as much as him. I never felt like I could love anyone in a different way that might be better, but you know, the weird thing is that I was 18 at the time, and I'm 26 now. I can see so many actions of his that I look back on as, as selfish and self-absorbed and rude and immature and wrong. And I can see so many of those actions and just say, there's no way I can be serious about a guy like that now that I'm older and now that I know better. But at the time, I didn't feel like I could have anyone better than that. And we kind of accept the love that we feel that we deserve. Maybe I felt like I deserved being someone that could be rude and selfish and self-absorbed, but also charming and charm his way out of having you be mad at him. <laughs> it took time to heal, but it was not impossible. And I did feel better, and I did date better in some ways, or at least tried to, and and learn from my mistakes the best that I could. You know, I still would make dating mistakes, but in time I would make better choices. I don't know what amount of time it takes for each person or, or what to do to make things better, but I do know that we shouldn't hold our emotions inside. You know, if we need to call 800 numbers for free therapy services or whatever we need to do, we need to channel our feelings into something and tell someone something and not just bottle it all inside. I mean, that's what my experience with Bill really taught me is he was just shoving everything down with his church, with his family, with his sexuality. And he was a crying emotional wreck a lot of times. And that's just what I saw. And I don't know what he did when I wasn't around, but You know, we got to do what we got to do, though. You know, he needed to follow his religious path, even if it wasn't right. And, I mean, I didn't agree with it. But that's what he needed to do. And uh, I just feel like people, people that are insecure shouldn't be in relationships in the first place. And... You know, that's what his being insecure and, and not knowing what he wanted ended up doing to me. But people need to be secure when they get into relationships. They need to be able to be a full person that can really give good things to the relationship by being a full person. I've heard that when there is one insecure person in the relationship that the two people are trying to fill that void. And... For the insecure person, if they're dumped, I mean, that might be just overwhelming and they may not know how to deal with it. And for the person that's not the insecure person, it can be kind of overwhelming trying to make that person feel loved enough to feel better. 
you know, we need to have fun and enjoy our lives the best that we can on our own first and then come to the relationship as a complete person and not expect that to fill our lives because even though relationships can be a great and rewarding and fulfilling thing they can also bring its own kind of problems that if we can't even handle our own problems we don't need more problems like problems in a relationship as my dad once said um no relationship is perfect because you yourself are not perfect i always thought that that had a good amount of truth to it but um that was my first relationship that I would call a relationship. I'm now in my fifth, but I'm not sure if I count one of those people completely. Because <laughs> I didn't see him all that much, maybe once a week, and I found out he was cheating on me some of that time anyway. <laughs> um, I'm just a different guy. But I think that's all I have to say about that. I hope that can help. Thank you.